So the New York Giants are the guy that dated the safe girl next door for years in high school. And they were happy and it was pleasant and they went to the prom together and they went and they drank milkshakes milkshakes at the ice cream shop and went to the drive-in on Friday nights and everybody knew that they were the couple in high school that would be together. That was the Giants and Tom Coughlin. That was the Giants and Jerry Reese. We know them. We're comfortable with them. It's worked. Then in college, the Giants were freshmen. They looked around. There was that crazy girl that seemed to be partying a lot. She wore this really funky lipstick. She started reading poetry at, like, coffee houses. She started to be a little wild child, and they were like, ooh, yeah, you know what? That's cool. Yeah, we, you know what? That sounds great. And that was Ben McAdoo. We're going to open up the offense. We're going to become a down-the-field passing team. He's from outside the organization. They're like, oh, man, yeah. Yeah, ooh, that chick is hot. Yeah, let's do that. And then it turned out she was nutso. She's a bad girl, thing. And it was drama after drama and dysfunction after dysfunction. And the Giants started looking around going, oh, my God, what did we do? I want to go back to my old high school sweetheart. The Giants are cringing in the corner after a bender and their crazy girlfriend in college screaming at them drunk in the middle of the night because they're going back to what they know, familiarity. Dave Gettleman, who was in that front office for 15 years, left to be the Panthers GM they've rehired. And Dave Gettleman now looks to be targeting Jim Schwartz, the former Lions coach, to be the Giants' new head man. I really believe that, that, that the head coaching job is a CEO position. It really is. You know, you, you look at the great head coaches, and I'll tell you right now, you know, there ain't a dumb one in the group. There's not a dumb one in the group. They're all leaders. They all know how to lead men. And, you know, that's that's what you need. You need intelligence, you need leadership, and, you, and because on the assumption that you hire an intelligent guy, you're going to have a guy with vision. So those are, the, those, are the, those are critical components you're looking for. I understand why the Giants went back to Gettleman. It was a little too loose. Well, way too loose. Way too crazy. This season has been just the abyss. So you go back to a steady hand that you trust. Fine. But Jim Schwartz, Jim Schwartz is going to be the next head coach of the Giants. Jim Schwartz, who had five seasons with the Lions and had one winning season. One. You're going to go out and hire a guy that went 2-14, and 4-12, and 6-10, and 7-9. That's going to be your guy. Why would you do it? We want a guy with experience. We want a guy that's been a head coach before. We want a guy that Dave Gettleman is comfortable with. We want a guy that's safe. Well, there ain't nothing more safe than a guy that's 22 games under 500 for his career, huh? I understand stability, I understand familiarity, but I think that's the wrong decision. It looks like Jim Schwartz, the reports are that he's the leader of the clubhouse for the Giants. I think that's a mistake.